just quickly want to go over some of the quick and easy photo edits you can do to improve your photos. And this is, certainly isn't a bad photo to start with. It could be better. Um, this, these methods are good at fixing up little problems, but they're really good at just making a mediocre photo really pop and grab attention. So we're going to start with this, and the first thing we're going to need to do is adjust our levels. We're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Now you see this flat line here? That's bad. We want to drag our line to the end of the flat line. We can also drag the other one. There's a little bit of a flat line there. And there we go. You see the improvement there. Now I can make it brighter or darker. I think about there it looks better. So now we've just brought a little, it's a real small change depending on how your photo is to start with will depend on how big the change is. There you can see a little bit of a difference as we switch back to another copy of the original photo. Now, another thing we can do for our photos is we can edit our curves. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustment, Curves. Now on the RGB, RGB channel, we want to make it lighter. You can go in the middle and just go just a little bit brighter there. Now we've got a nice light photo, might look nice with a nice white vignette around it. If you just want to lighten up a little bit of a photo, that's the way to go. Now, another thing we can do with our curves, let's flip to another copy of our photo here. Go to Image, Adjustment, Curves. Now this, we can do a nice S curve here. Uh, I've got a little too much, that's okay. So image, adjustments, curves, you can just bring it down just a little bit and just up just a little bit. You can see a nice color in there. It's a very vibrant photo. If you did that stronger, you can get even stronger effect depending on how strong your S curve was and what type of photo you're looking for. Now, another thing that curves can do is you can go and make a really warm toned photo. This is already a little bit of a warm toned photo, but I'll show you how you can get it even more warm toned or take a cooler toned photo to make it warm. We're going to move off of the RGB channel. We're going to take our red channel and we're going to bring it up. Pardon me one second, I'm on the wrong layer. to image adjustments curves again. Select that red channel. Now we bring the red up. Going to go to the blue channel. And we're going to bring the blue down. Now we've got a nice warm toned photo. One more edit, and I use this on just about every photo. Okay, we're going to duplicate our layer so that we've got three layers of the same photo right on top of each other. Now, I know this maybe is a little confusing in my layer palette here because I've got so many so that I can show you these different edits. So I'm going to group these. I'm going to group these layers. Yeah, well, how about I just hide the other ones that way? You can see where our three are a lot better that way. Now we've got our three layers. So this we consider our bottom layer. This is our middle layer. And what we'll do is we're going to set our middle layer to screen. And we're going to set our top layer to soft light. Now, look at that difference. Really makes a photo pop. If your effect is too strong, lower your opacities. If your effect is too strong in only part of a photo, then just erase with a soft brush over that part. Now, we are going to zoom out, bring back all of our other layers, and you'll see our different effects. Here, you have just a slight levels adjustment. Here, you have it lightened with curves. Here you have a very vibrant photo with curves. Here you have a warm photo with curves. Here you have three photo layers. 
and here you have the original photo. None of them are difficult, none of them are huge changes, but they're all simple and they all make a difference.